pastor asked me to share a testimony that I shared on Bible study this Friday. And uh, I was saying to myself, is that a good idea? Because I might take over, because I like to talk a lot. <laughs> I have a lot to say, but I'm going to keep it short and sweet. So, um, one of the things that uh, the pastor has been sharing with us on Sundays is about the being ready. Um, you know, the, the, the ten virgins, the wise and the not so wise. And um, the message is, you know, there's, there's a few things that we can take away from there is working for God's kingdom and being prepared when he comes. But it's not just about being prepared. It's what do you have to offer God when he comes? You know, um, how is he going to find you working? Is he going to find you sleeping? Um, and uh, even though this is something that I took up uh, in, in initiative upon myself, um, I, after listening to that message, I'm like, Lord, how can I do this more? And the one thing that came to my mind was on the wall back there. When you walk in, you see there's a whole bunch of tracks. You know, they look nice there, but those are not Christmas ornaments. They're not decorations. And, um, you know, I think the way God spoke to me in my heart was every single one of those tracks has a name of a person that is in need. Because when you give this to someone, you're giving it to a person, and obviously they have a name. And um, one of the things that I shared in testimony was, you know, the Bible says in the book of Revelation that he will wipe away every tear of, the, of their eyes. I mean, a lot of people will say it's because they're crying because they made it. They're crying because they see their loved ones. I mean, my personal conviction is one of the things is what we could have done and we didn't do. So those tracks that are back there, what I did was I took a whole bunch. And I did this before, but even more so after giving that message. And I'm like, we have to share the message with those that we come across that we know or we don't know that they're safe. And uh, how can we do that? Because sometimes, you know, it's, it's kind of scary to just approach a person and give them a track. I mean, if you're not used to doing that, you know, uh, but there's many ways you can do it and still be working for the Lord. Because you got to remember, we're going to be held accountable for the opportunity that we had to share the gospel we're also going to be accountable for, for the time that we did. Mm -hmm. But I think that we should worry more about the time that the Lord would say, well, you had the opportunity to share the gospel with this person and you didn't. Mm -hmm. So there are many ways, and this is what I do. I do many ways, but this is the way that I think Pastor wanted me to share at some point. Um, anytime you pay a bill with a check, put a track in there. Someone's going to open that and they're going to see it. Mm -hmm. um, whenever you go through the drive-thru with your car, you pick up coffee, McDonald's, whatever it is. What I do is when they give me my change back, I give them I give them a track and I said, you know, Jesus love you. Amen. There's people always in the corner asking for money, you know. Some of them really need the money, you know, they're disabled, some of them are just, you know, panhandling, but you give them a track. You give them change, you give them a track. When you go to Longhorn or Chili's or whatever and you leave the tip or whatever, leave a track. Mm -hmm. Because you gotta remember, once they grab this piece of paper, and you know, you gotta take the seriousness with this, is that um, if they die without salvation, and they're before the Lord. They, they can't say, Lord, I, every, every single person that's before the Lord is going to be accountable. And the Lord will show them when exactly, at what point he tried to reach out to them. Whether, whether it was just through, through a person, whether it was a track. And the minute they hold that track in their hand and they see uh, there's one there that says paid in full. Right? And they saw it and they opened it and they threw it away. That's it. They're accountable. And you're free from that, you know, from that burden of having to go before the Lord and say, Lord, I'm sorry, I, I, you know, it, it, I think that's why there's going to be many tears. It's a song of Steve Green that says, people need the Lord. If you listen to the lyrics of that song, don't just sing it. I mean, listen to it word by word. And if you hear the message, it's going to hit straight, it's, it's going to straight, hit straight to your heart and you're going to understand that every day we see them passing by, you know, and we do, you know, um, I want to close by saying that uh, a lot of us have friends and um, co-workers, and many of them don't know that we're saved. I remember one day after Melody shared a poem that said, uh, it talks about a person who was a best friend with someone all their life, but they never spoke to them about, about Jesus, and then they're saying, dear friend, and it goes on and on and say how they went through all these um, times together, and in the end it said, well, if you were really a friend, you would have told me about, you know, Christ and salvation, but they didn't. 
So my encouragement to you is uh, let's empty that wall, you know, grab mm -hmm. a whole bunch of tracks. Amen. And, you know, even uh, one more thing I do is when I take public transportation, I take the bus, the light rail. Even if there's no, no one sitting next to me, I'll take a track and I'll leave it there. Yeah. And I leave and then, you know, someone's going to pick it up. You, you, you got to understand. There's many ways here in the Bible. This is like a, a quick and simple way. And that's one way that, um, like, God has moved me to even work more for him. And uh, let's tell our co-workers, let's share the gospel because Christ is going soon. One thing that, you know, it's easy for me to do is want to, you know, focus on this life. You know, um, I'm in a lot of pain right now because I'm going through. But the thing is that um, we worry about our health. We, we don't want to get sick. We don't want to die. Why would I want to live a long time here? Listen, if Christ came right now, I'm going to go. I'm ready to go. I, I'm not afraid to die. And that's the message that I want to get across. Because um, we, we plan for our future. We plan to invest in a 401k. We, we, you know, we want to have a nice car. We have a nice house. But that's all going to be gone. Look at Houston. Look at Puerto Rico. Look at all. You know, you could lose it in a heartbeat. And the same, in the same way, you, you don't know what's going to happen when you go outside. You know? In the next second, we could just be gone. So we need to be ready to meet the Lord. And we need to be ready also so when he comes, he, you know, we can say, Lord, here's, here's the, uh, the talent that you gave me, and here's the interest. Amen? God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you.